Hey everyone, how's it going? Um, uh, as I stated in my last video, I am going to be playing One Piece Bounty Rush. I'm not going to be doing a summoning video yet. And the main reason being is because the second year anniversary is coming. And if I'm correct, which I'm pretty sure I am, this shadow figure right here. That's Kaido in his dragon form. And that actually makes me really excited. So I'm just saving all of my gems for him. Now before I get started, I do want to say, I am not super good at this game. I'm a pretty average player. Um, so don't expect any crazy plays from me. I just wanted to show some gameplay the game, possibly get some of you interested, and talk about my thoughts on the game. So, as for like, for example, the art, which is a pretty big thing of all gacha games, it looks fantastic. I love the art. It's very good looking, and it just looks really nice. Um. There's also on this game, in case you don't know, considering I'm sure most of you haven't seen this game, it is a 4v4 PvP style kind of open-ish world map game. Uh, it's like a mixture of capture the flag and domination, where basically you want to hold down at least three points. Now there are some downsides to this, as Let's say, for example, you hold down three points at least the entire match. If the literal last second the enemy gets one more flag than you, they win. No matter how long you had three flags. It's really BS. But what can you do? Um, then also, for the classes, there's defenders. Like my character right now, Hina. Um, there's attackers, and then there's also runners. These should be pretty self-explanatory, but to summarize them real quick, defenders are best built uh, with being tanky, and then also, you know, defending the points, and building up their treasure gauge meter, which is the bar above them, um, that fills up when I'm on it. That basically makes it so it takes a longer to be captured by the enemies. Runners are made are very frail, but they're made to be able to um, capture points very quickly. That's their entire point. And attackers like this Rayuin, as you can see, are made to assault you. Yeah, that's the classes. Uh, there are a buttload of maps. Usually each map has two different versions, the day and the night time. Nothing really changes. Some of them have minor changes, but nothing huge. Um, hold on. Okay. Anyways, um, yeah, it's more just for looks. Um... They have a lot of characters on here, obviously, as you can probably tell. Uh, they don't have all of them, but they have quite a lot. And I'm dead. Uh, and then there, there are bounty festival units, which are like Dokkan Fests, or it's like the super OP rare versions of characters. Those do exist in this game as well. Uh, this one right here, Big Mom, this one specifically is one of them, so, yeah. And as you can tell, she's very, very powerful, to the point where it's honestly not fair. Pretty sure we're going to lose this match. Yeah, there's no way we win. Uh, 
Oh, I, okay, yeah. I'm just lagging pretty bad. Wow, okay. Um... Okay, so that's the basics of this. Oh, yeah, okay. There's more, there's always more explained. Like, here, for example, if you want to lose, you get this, and you can give someone, like, a great. It doesn't really do anything, but if you receive enough of them yourself, or you give enough away, you do complete missions. So it's nice to do. And obviously, you know, like, this says the amount of KOs you got. No, I didn't. <laughs> this shows the amount of captures you got. Um, and if you want to, like, if you're confused about something, for example, you see, like, a hacker or something, you can press Battle Replay, and it'll show you the entire match over again. From start to finish. However, if you accidentally click it, you can just click here. I mean, not there. Uh, where is it? Finish. And it's a nice little feature, seeing the match again. And I think you can do it from a first person perspective as well, from the player's perspective. So that also helps. And obviously, you know, you can request to be their friend if you like them. Uh, and yeah, as you can tell, there is rankings in this. There is no casual mode. There isn't. There is only ranking mode. You start all the way at the very bottom, of course, at D minus. And these are the rewards you get. These will always stay the same, but the seasonal rewards will change, as well as the things in here. Once you hit D rank, you have a chance at getting Kaku, the runner Kaku. Then D plus you get Hina. C minus you get Smoker. I think that's Smoker. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's just Smoker. Uh, then Snake Man. As you can see also here on the right, you also get a bunch of more rewards. And these things are very useful. They're basically used as like dupes of characters, but unlike other games, like let's say like Dokkan or something like that, uh, dupes give you like, it's kind of more like Legends, for example, and these are multi Z powers if you play Legends. So they're basically the exact same thing. Um, then there's obviously, yeah, basically oh, it goes all the way up to SS rank. Um, where you can get 10 four-star crystal fragments, which is the highest rarity of a summonable character. Uh, it's not five stars in this game. Uh, you can get three-star ones. Then you can get 18 of these, which are good, because you need these to upgrade their skills. You get 20 diamonds, which is very nice. And you get one of these, which is guaranteed, like, a good transfer, which I'll also get into later. Um, so here you can basically get every single non-bounty festival unit. So you are able to technically, if you get lucky enough, every unit that's not a bounty festival in the game for free. It just will take a while. Um, however, you do have four times a day, well not day, four times a day, for f four times you can do magic and you'll get the chests. However, then they have to refresh and come back over time. They kind of like a stamina system. Now, that doesn't mean you can't do PvP. You can still do PvP, you just won't get the chest rewards from it. So you can still climb to the highest ranks if you want. You're just not going to get rewards on the way. That's all it does. Uh, after this, I will also show the other mode. That's going on right now. They usually have a few side modes going on at the same time. As well as I'll explain um, how you level up your characters and all that. And then I'll probably call it a video there. I don't want this going up for too long. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna go to spawn. So my goal, usually what I usually do as a defender, obviously, is I, unlike a lot of people, unfortunately, I play my role. I stay at the flags, I defend them. I don't really go out and capture them unless I know my flag I'm defending is going to be fine. Building up your treasure gauge to max takes a little while, yes, but in the long run it can save you. It saved me so many times. Look, there you go.
Nina's a very good defender. Honestly, she's one of the best defenders in my opinion. I think my Zoro hit me. <laughs> Didn't do damage, but yeah. Oh jeez. Yeah, I'm lagging pretty bad. Alright. Uh, I'll try to fix the lag for next video. The game isn't actually that laggy. I think it's just because I'm on my Wi-Fi and my Wi-Fi is kind of crap. Yeah, you can also, almost, as you see in the kind of top ish right corner, build the enemy's health bar as a mini map. Use that. Honestly, if you play this game, definitely pay attention to that. Because that helps so much, and I see so many people just ignore it. Okay, here's just a good perfect time for this. This is team boost. The gauge above your team's health and the enemy's health will gradually go up as the matches go on. And basically, when you're in this mode, all of your stats, except for HP, are insanely boosted. Let me just go behind here in a Marco. Damn him. There we go. Um, that Ace is a pretty new character. I don't have him. Again, like I said, I'm saving for Kaido. Um, but yeah. So you get a bunch of... It's only limited times, but it can come multiple times a match. Alright, so my teammate needs help over there. Mind fucking helping me? <laughs> Thanks. Oh. Ugh. Yeah, that, that's one effect that Wa has. Sorry for notification, I didn't think I'd get that many. Um. Yeah. You can tell that I'm a lot faster. Uh, from the purple aura right there, you look at the ball in my health, you'll see I have like a wing. That shows my speed stat. Oh, yeah, even. Cool, cool, cool. Um, you can do emotes too, obviously you know, nice. they can be helpful, <laughs> most of the time teammates don't listen to them. Uh, ooh, I got two gold chests, yeah, the gold chests are the ones you mainly want, because they'll give you the ones that give you the force to power up. Like, this Perona here, she's actually a really good defender, if you're able to get her. I don't have her on this account, but on a different account I used to have, I had her. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I don't have this filled up, uh, I'm probably not going to this video, but basically this is a daily chest, and when you get it, obviously, you, know, you can get certain rewards per day. It's random, but it's the same kind of rewards you get from this. So it's an extra little thing, so it's pretty nice. And unlike the treasure chances here, um, you don't need to have it. It's only once per day, though. It doesn't refresh, it's only once per day. Anyway, so for characters and teams, this is what the team building looks like. You have your two main characters here and there, and then you can have your side characters that you want at the bottom, and they'll buff up your own characters. Now there's also like character effects, like New World, which will give you like the more points you have, obviously, and the more the less strength you have, aka your health, increased damage dealt with the element you're weak against, and so on and so forth. So it's pretty nice. There's, there's a lot of them. Um, the higher level these characters are, and the more built up they are, the better they are for boosting your team. Which is really nice. Um, here's obviously all your characters on the right side. Uh, if you want to click character, how you level them up is right here. Usually, you know, actually, let me get a better example. Uh, Snow Can. No, I... There we go. Rotten Boa. Right here, there's level ups. You just go like this, level it up. It takes, obviously, it's EXP orbs, which are very easy to come across, but they do get very expensive as time goes on. Can I...? No, okay. What about Toshiki? No, okay. Um, there's more, there's a lot more of this, too. Uh, you go here to skills, you can see all of these skills. This one's max. Now, what's nice is, you can check out what they do at every level. Mine's already level 4 here, so it's only showing the 4 and the last level. But let's say you have a level 1 skill, It'll show from level 1 all the way to level 5 and how it increases. So you can decide if you want to increase it, and if you do, which order of skill you want to increase. I figured Pistol Kiss would be better because it ignores their defense and gives them attack reduction at level 5. 
And that's another thing. Some of these skills, like I said, is here, acquires attack to you off at level 5. Some of these skills will get a debuff on the enemy or something special if you max it out. Meanwhile, other ones, like for example this one, doesn't. It just gets more powerful. And a uh, shorter cooldown time and whatnot. So you want to, that's what you need these names for though. These are to get to the 5 stars. They cost 10 as you can tell, so it's quite a lot. You also need to get these. These are pretty common to come across. There's also a 1 star variant. And then there's these, which again, very common. 1 star variant as well. And you just upgrade it and boom. Team boost here, this is what your character gives when you get a team boost. So from Boa here, she gives an attack boost. If you want her art, by the way, here's her art. Very wonderful, I love it. She's my favorite character in the series. <laughs> and, yeah. Um, yeah, okay, now the other mode, the other mode. So, obviously there's solo. I'm not going to be doing this today. I may do this later, but there's private battles, friend battles, 60 second battle, which is just for money, Hunt survival 100, which is like a kind of boss rush mode, and it gives you a lot of EXP for all of your characters. So it's a great way to level up if you don't have EXP orbs. And it gives you a bunch of EXP orbs too. And then solo is basically like story mode, quote unquote. It just gives you a lot of gems. They did recently add a practice mode though. So you can like practice with runners, I mean attackers, defenders, runners. And you can practice on every single stage in the game that you have unlocked. To get used to them and figure out how they work and they're laid out. Which is very nice for new players. I don't think it's the rank, the money. Oh, also, there is equipment characters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, when there's, like, this thing over them, that just shows you, like, hey, they can level up or something like that. Actually, I find yeah. Character boosts. These aren't the hugest things, but they're pretty useful. Basically, as you can get, guess from the name, they boost your character's attack, HP, defense, and they give a special trait right here, time for some more crit damage. And it goes on for two panels, each character. So it's very useful. Oh, that's right. Traits. How could I forget? Ugh, sorry, I'm such a mess. Um, basically, traits are the character's passives. Now, unfortunately, some of them, like for example, you can see here, are locked behind their stars, which you do require dupes to unlock, which is unfortunate, as usually these are where the really good ones are. But it's what you're gonna do. It's a gotcha game. Uh, just looking at Boas here. Uh, you know what? No, actually, we're gonna go to Hina since you saw me using her. So her traits are her character specific trait. Because some of them have character specific ones. Like Luffy is immune to shock and petrification. Uh, Hina here, when attacking an enemy, is binded, which is like when they have the bars around them. Gets 2%. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Never mind. <laughs> she does get damage increase, but that's in a later passive. She has a 2% chance of binding the enemy when she just normally attacks him. It's pretty low, but it does activate more than you would think. Then, the first trait on trait 1 is when you're around your capture treasure, reduce your damage received by 30%. That's a pretty common defender trait, but it's very nice. And then this one is really nice. When the enemy is inflicted with bind, which can be inflicted from your normal attacks or the kimono sleeve cage, um, reduce the cooldown of skill one, which is black spear, which is a very, very powerful skill as you saw, but 15%, that's really nice. Um, and then the trait two, when you get her up to five stars, when she attacks an enemy and inflicts a bind, she increases her damage by 20%. That is massive for Defender. Especially since in bind, you literally can't do anything. You're stuck and forced to take all the damage. And then when you're around your character treasure, boost the, school the cooldown of skill 2, the Kimono Sleeve Cage, by 50%. You have its recovery time. That's massive. And then the boost trait... After receiving damage from an enemy, which is 60% of your max HP, recover 5% HP. That, now the boost trait is um, this thing right here. This is her boost trait. So when how Boa, but she gets crit chance, Hina gets HP back. Um, anything else? 
There's medals here you can do. You can craft medals of characters you pull from um, doing PvP. When you use a character, you're more likely to get their medals. Um, but even if you have them like in your sub party, you're still very likely to get them. There's event medals, which you'll get from events and missions. And then these medals are specific to when like you play a character so much that you actually rank in the, one of the higher ranks of using the character, which I can get into later later date. Uh, also, you can upgrade metals, like let's just upgrade, let's upgrade this Kena metal. Uh, now there's three stages of upgrading, and as you can tell, they take a long time. To fully upgrade a metal from one star to three star, it takes a full 24 hours. Ridiculous, I know, but there's a good and bad reason for it. But, as you can tell, you can get these hammers, and you can instantly upgrade it like that. And that helps a lot. Now, the main goal of a medal is, obviously, to get the highest rarity stats. Like, for example, here, you would want either 3-star defense, attack, or HP. Now, it doesn't really matter which, but also, you know, the higher the better. And what you can do, actually, is you can combine the 3-star stats on any metal and put them on any spot. So for example, let's say I wanted to, um, I don't really have one on here right now. <laughs> Crap, uh, well, let's say, oh no, actually I do, I do, I do. Uh, go to transfer trait. Let's say I want to transfer this metal's weak attack stat with this metal's higher attack stat or something like that. Basically, it'll specifically change that one stat I wanted but it'll give a random one of these. It doesn't guarantee which one. So if you can click transfer and see each one has a 33.3% chance of happening. You click OK. Like, okay, I got it. But let's say you didn't get the one, you press retry. Okay. However, this is unfortunate. It does, maybe in the future this will change, and I hope it does. It does cost your summoning gems to do this. You can do it up to five times, and in total, it takes like one, then two, then three, then four, and five. It takes a lot of gems. So, is it worth it? If you have a lot of gems, yes. Because the thing is, no. The thing is, you really only need one pair, like two or three pairs of metals on a character, and you're good. That's the best thing about them. Also, uh, let's say, for example, I were to put the Tina metal here. There are metal effects. These are from the Navy, so they get cooldown reduction. Oh, I put this back on now. Uh, and so, yeah, like you can see like, these tags, what they do, for example, like Punk Hazard. They get cooldown reduction speed, skill 1. Navy, skill 2 is cooldown restriction. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then Navy Captain is... Um, capture speed increase so metals are also un unfortunately metals are crucial they are actually vital to the game unfortunate as it is um anyways this here is a like 12 hour chest thing it just gives you a random item it's okay nothing great special training this is huge though it's very slow as you can tell by timers but they give you the fragments for the characters so theoretically, you could get a character from level 60, which is the level cap before you limit breaking of dupes, all the way up to level 100, which is the max level cap. And yes, you need dupes for levels. It's kind of dumb, but whatever. Here, this is brand new, but you need to be in an alliance to that, which I'll definitely make one in the future, depending on how popular these videos get. Um, so look forward to that if you like this content. Uh, and then, obviously, you know, there's missions, there's daily missions, there's weekly missions, which is nice. These give you a lot of stuff, too, as you can see. There's normal missions, and then there's event missions, like right now there's four events going on right now. There's the boss battle card, which is for the event I'm about to do. And there's a New Year's event. Let's give you these, which can be used in the exchange shop, which I'll show you that in a second. Uh, so, yeah. So then this is the alliance. You can make one or just join one if you want. I'm not in one yet because I don't see a point uh, yet. 
And here's the exchange shop. So you can change the points you get from the special like modes usually for on this. Uh, this is a special like you know PvP reward stuff. Sometimes this is like gold bars. Other times it's not. Battle points you get for every single battle you do. And now these ones here, you have to purchase this. Unfortunately, it's cheap, so it's nice, but it's like why? Like, but you can do this one, and you can exchange for all of these. Which is very nice. I'm actually gonna buy the Hina medals real quick. Yep. So yeah, it's very helpful. Um, there's the crystal fragment ones you can exchange crystals for. I'm saving these for now. Um, and then there's the metal points, in which you get these by selling upgraded metals, and they'll guarantee like, for example, like the gold here. This will guarantee like a gold, like level three star uh, trait. These here, colors you get by maxing out a character's level. Aka, you pull all the dupes you need from. So it is. It takes a while, and it's a very end game-ish thing. Even I don't have. Um, then this is obviously on the screen. There's usually a lot of banners on. There's always a bounty festival going on. They usually go for a whole month. Like this week, right now, it's uh, Des Rosa Zoro and Whole Cake Island Runner Sanji. I don't know how good they are, but they seem pretty good. Um, there's a ticket scout that you can buy. There's a step ups, usually too. Usually on this game, step ups are absolutely incredible. This one's kind of meh, but like step ups usually in this game are insanely good. I'll say it's for the 1,000 chapters of One Piece. Uh, then this one was for Ace's birthday. Again, a pretty average step, pretty mediocre step up in comparison. But as you can see in the final step. You were guaranteed Ace and Marco, but it's a, they're one unit basically. So yeah, it's you're guaranteed him. So if you're willing to spend uh, 100, 250 gems, you're able to get a guaranteed one. Though I wouldn't recommend it. And also every day you get a free five scout, which has a bunch of five stars on it, which is nice and it's free, so never complain. And then there's this one, um, which you can purchase. Now this one is. A lot more difficult because basically you get it by using these points here and you get them by summoning with gems and you get 10 one point per character I mean per uh, five gems so if you do a multi you get 10 points so in total you need to do I believe it's 15 multis in order to get this and it resets every month so it can be a real pain in the butt. Uh, so now let's go to the bonus mode. The bo this one, this time is the boss battle. Uh, there's some rules and hints you can follow. Score bonuses by characters that you want to bring. The schedules. Um, right now it's Ki Akaliji um, or Kuzan. Uh, I think Kuzan's real name if I remember right. And I believe he's a blue, yeah, he's a blue, you can tell right here. Um, and so if you want to edit your party, for example, like let's say I go over to my party three, I can switch it up to be greens. So I can go like this, also select prioritize and score bonus. And then I can put, let's say, boa up there. I go like this again, boom. And now I'll give her my medals that I have on Tashigi to make her more powerful. Yep. Okay, and then, you know, you just hop in. And there's all these rewards you can get. They're very good. I haven't done it this time because I just came back to the game. But I recommend you always do these. They're very good. And you get these things very easily, as you can tell. <laughs> 221. I'm probably going to grind this tonight. Um, so, yeah. After this, though, I will end the video. If you have any more questions about the game, feel free to comment them down below, and I'll be more than happy to answer them. Uh, tomorrow, expect a summoning video for May on Pokemon Masters. I'm gonna go all out on that banner. I have around, I think, 17,000 gems, which should give me... 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 
If you give me at least five multis, I might be able to get a sixth one now. The nice thing about Boa is that, I mean, not on this boss because it's a boss, but uh, on normal enemies, her attacks can petrify them, which is really good. Basically, it's kind of like Hina's uh, trapping, but it's even better. Uh, right now in the game, there's three versions of Boa. There's this version, the Red Bounty Fest Runner version. Oh my god. <laughs> Glad I got out of there. Um, and then there is the Blue Attacker Ranged Boa, who is also very good. I pulled on a separate account. And I really, really liked her. I'm hoping I can pull her again in the future. She is, however, a Bounty Fest, so that's unfortunate. All the boas so far have been bounty fests, actually. Yeah, this is basically going to vote. It's pretty simple, it's easy, but it's fun. You and your teammates just wail on people. You have some funny names like that, okay? Um, but yeah, and then obviously you get rewards, which include these, which are very useful, because, like, say, for example, you max out one of these characters from this, you pull them into summon, hey, guess what? That's Koa you can use. Uh, the Koa characters are also very good, but again, they're very rare. Yeah. Anyways, that is probably going to be it. I have probably been recording for a long time. Uh, oh, well, I guess I could do it. Oh, got a friend request. <laughs> Look at that. So yeah, if you want to accept a friend, you can. I'll actually accept them. I don't have any on this game right now. Um, there's also, you know, you can change your stamps in battle if you want, which can be very useful. Um, but, I mean, remember that people don't listen to them too often. You can also go to profile and you can change your title. You unlock these and every title you unlock, you get three gems, which is very nice. And you can also you can see how to unlock them. So if you want a specific one, you can do that and focus on it, which is nice. Um, this is where you can get daily login stuff from here as well. Uh, not here, where does it start? Right here. Uh, these will always be at the top of the day, daily resets. Uh, there's this one going on right now, which is very useful. Ace's birthday, which I just cleared out, which is okay. You do get 50 gems for the first time while getting into it, though, so that's huge. Uh, there's the New Year's one, which is going on still. And there's the weekly show and jump hitting 1,000 days, where you get these, which is very nice. And then there's the Paramount War, which you get these. So, yeah. Other than that, I am pretty sure that's everything. So I will see you all in the next one. Take care.